Hey, so you guys probably want to start building and hosting your own websites. I thought I'd show you a uh, cool service through GitHub that's offered for free for you guys to do that. So I just started building my website and I'm ready to share it with the world. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is go over to github.com and then up at the top right, I'm going to choose sign up. So if you want to do the same and quickly create your account and then we'll go on to the next step. Awesome, so once you guys have gone ahead and verified your email, it's gonna take you to this page asking what you wanna do first. So we're actually gonna go ahead and create a repository. So a repository is basically just a bin where all our files are gonna live for this project. So when I say this project, I'm talking about our website. So let's just go ahead and click create a repository. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna give it a name. So I'm just gonna call mine a good website. The description is optional, so don't worry about that for now. And then in order for you to publicly host it, you're going to have to leave it marked as public. So go ahead and click create repository. So GitHub will actually give you a couple different options on uploading your files. Um, for this, we're going to keep it simple though, and we're just going to do it right through the browser. So I'm going to go ahead and click on upload an existing file. That's going to take us to a page where we can actually drag our files in. So I'm going to go to the folder where I have my files at and I'm going to drag them in. So I'll go ahead and highlight all three or everything in this folder and drag it in here. Should take a minute or two to go ahead and upload your files depending on how much you have in your folder. Great. GitHub is basically a tool for what's called version control. So when you actually do upload your files, uh, it's a good idea to give a little note on what you did. So a lot of times your first upload, you'll just call it initial commit. And then I don't have to add anything in here. You can if you want, you could add a date, um, but that should be tracked automatically for you. So once you give in a little comment in here and you have everything in there and you're for sure that you have your main homepage named index.html, you go ahead and click commit changes. So in a couple of seconds, our files should be processed and we should see them in our repository now. All right, great. So now it's dropped us into our repository and you can see the files that you uploaded are there along with the comment of initial commit. So the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna let GitHub know that this is actually a web page and that we want it hosted. So what we'll do is we'll go to settings and then we'll scroll down here you go. So we have a section called GitHub Pages. So right now for the source, we have none selected. We're going to go ahead and choose Main and click Save. So now if we scroll back down to GitHub Pages, we have a URL here. So if we click on that URL, all right, so we're going to get a 404 not found. No big deal, though, because if we give it a sec, our website should appear. All right, so you can see it's been about two minutes. I went ahead and refreshed my page, and now my site is live. So I could share this link with other friends. Um, I'll actually put the link up if you guys want to see my totally awesome SpongeBob-themed landing page here. But uh, like I said, go ahead. Uh, you can start building your own website and hosting it for free on GitHub. If you have any questions, let me know.